Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow-up on the Lionel Corona Express. As you see, I've added a headlight to it rather than uh, wasting good parts on this uh, old junk shell. I just used one of the uh, button lamps on the front, epoxied it in place. I've added a uh, pilot that I sawed off a Mark 490 to replace the one that was missing on the shell. Just got this reassembled. As you see, you squint your eyes, this actually doesn't look bad at all. It is up and running. This is actually running really well, considering it is made completely out of junk parts. So I used that button lamp for the headlight. It saved me from wasting good parts on this. As you see, that is intensely bright. So I just wanted to do a quick video. This is going to be its first trip around the rail. I just got this reassembled. Found a pin, of course, for the uh, cross uh, pin to hold the... Uh, motor in so mismatched push rods it's got the wrong crossbar it has a uh, marks tab and slot coupler mounted on the rear it has a button lamp for a headlight it has a 490 pilot on it <coughs> excuse me in a really really disgustingly terrible shell the thing is this old locomotive is up and running as you can see and this actually runs really well. As you see, it'll just crawl around the rail. This is that DC can motor with a uh, diode, so it'll run on AC. As you see, this runs really, really well. It'll just crawl around the rail. Good constant speed all the way around, intensely bright headlight. It has a uh, pilot on it off of Mark's 490. It has mismatched push rods. All right, let's go ahead and take this up to speed. So as you see, it was worth the time it took to build it. There's no doubt about that. Like I said, I didn't want to uh, waste good parts on this, so I didn't want to have to put a socket and a light bulb in it. So I just used that button lamp on the front sawed a uh, pilot off an old 490 broken shell, epoxied that in place, used a uh, modified Marks tab and slot coupler for a draw bar, it's got uh, modified push rods, and a uh, motor out of an 8200 DC locomotive. So it was just a fun project, gave me something to do for, uh, well, Friday night, and uh, this is Saturday evening now. I worked on it for probably about an hour tonight. So it gave me something to do. It's going to be a souvenir. As you see, it was worth the time it took. There's no doubt about that. It is a complete running locomotive. It's far from perfect. You know, it's assembled completely out of junk, mismatched parts. The thing is, it's running, pulling eight Lionel cars. It has an intensely bright white headlight it's got a pilot as you see it's a decent looking locomotive actually from a foot away this actually looks quite respectable I mean considering what it's made out of so I actually found a front and rear truck for this but I'm not going to waste the parts on this that's why I didn't go ahead and put a headlight in it. It was just easier to add this button lamp to the front of the shell. And uh, it's in incredibly bright white light. So anyway, it has a pilot, as you see, soldered off a 490, epoxied it to the front of uh, this uh, 1060 shell. There was absolutely nothing I can do with this uh, to make it look nice. Someone had put a sticker on here. It looked like almost like a piece of caution tape, thin caution tape. And then they covered it with what appears to be clear fingernail polish. And as you see, it just ate the plastic alive. So there's nothing you can do about that. That's why this thing's been under the bench for the last four months or so. I mean, it was just useless. But uh, I always save the old shells. You never know what uh, they're going to come in handy for, uh, especially for things just like this. You know, I needed a project last night to keep me sane, so figured why not? I had the... Uh, motor so i modified the motor to fit the shell found enough parts to cobble this thing together uh, today i added the pilot and the uh, headlight and uh, this is junk that's all you can say about it the whole the entire thing is assembled out of junk parts the only good thing in there is the motor itself 
But as you see from a foot away, that actually looks like a locomotive. It's actually quite respectable looking. It runs really, really well. It's got plenty of power, pulling eight cars with no problem at all. So consider that it's being assembled completely out of junk parts. It actually doesn't look too bad. It runs well, that's the neat thing about it. You run it with a headlight on, run it with a headlight off. So, a locomotive made completely out of junk parts. The Lionel Corona Express. As I said, I'm going to uh, keep this as a souvenir, a reminder of the, uh, the exile. But again, it runs nice, as you can see. And like I said, this thing will just literally crawl around the rail. That's pulling eight cars. And it'll maintain this speed all the way around. It's really difficult to beat that. There's lots and lots and lots of locomotives that will not do this. But as you see, it runs well from a foot away. It's actually quite respectable looking. So maintaining constant speed all the way around the rail, pulling eight cars. So let's go ahead and take this up to speed again. Okay, there's 40% power. So it was a fun project, gave me something to do. Like I said, this is now a souvenir. The Lionel Corona Express. Okay, let's take it up to 50%. Okay, there's dead on 50% power. As you see, that runs really, really well. There is no problem with that at all. So, it was a fun project, gave me something to do, and I'll have a reminder of the uh, Corona Exile. So the Lionel Corona Express, it is, in this case, finished. I'm not going to uh, put any more time into it. I definitely didn't want to waste any good parts on it. I actually found a front and rear truck that will fit it and uh, a socket for the light bulb, but why waste parts on this? So in any case, sawed the uh, pilot off a Marks 490, epoxy that in position, put one of those button lamps on the front, gave me a headlight. It has a decent motor in it, there's no doubt about that. And as you see, this actually doesn't look too bad considering it is made completely out of junk. So I just wanna do a quick video on this. The uh, Lionel Corona Express. One more day of sanity, so it gave me something to do. Anyway, I just want to do a follow-up video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.